This is Agile in Three Minutes. Given where you're coming from, where are you headed? If we make risks visible early, but don't make informed decisions often, or deliver value early and often, then we're not usually doing business as effectively as we might. When we can't structure our work around frequent small decisions about funding and direction, that means we're making bigger bets, incurring more risk, and mitigating less of it. Agility emerges from relentless disciplined creativity in constraining the inflow of risk and unconstraining the outflow of value. By making fewer smaller predictions and more smaller decisions, we get fewer smaller surprises. By needing less predicting, we become more predictable. For instance, we can project, without preparing or relying on detailed estimates, from how many small stories we've completed this month to which ones we'll complete next month, assuming the backlog never grows or changes. When we're counting on that, we're placing a bigger bet. We're declaring our intention for the next months or years to be less creative than usual about delivering value, to be less flexible about what to do by when, to be less responsive when the business's needs change. We're defining a big batch of work and a date when we hope to get it. We're doing a project. We are, more than usual, gambling. We need to, more than usual, look outside Agile for ways to mitigate our risk, because we've chosen to trade away some of our agility. That doesn't mean we've chosen poorly. It does mean the decision to undertake anything shaped like a project is risky. The risk needs to be widely understood and shared, and it ought to be accompanied by responsible and convincing business reasons. It means we've also chosen to be risk managers, ideally by reacting with sensitivity to the voices of those doing the work. If one of them projects concern that a decision has been poorly made, we must seek to address the underlying danger. If none projects concern, we may already be too late. Delivering in big increments limits our opportunities to learn, and building in big iterations limits our chances to adjust. A project is an iteration that we hope will produce an increment. Techniques commonly associated with Agile can help us complete the projected work, but it's responsible business to question as early as possible how fixed our scope and deadline truly are, and how sure we are to meet people's needs at the end with the backlog we defined at the beginning. Whether or not we realize it, whether or not we choose them wisely, we always learn in iterations and deliver in increments. Choose wisely. This has been Amitai Schleyer delivering an increment of Agile in 3 Minutes, the simplest podcast that could possibly work.